Hey, superstars, I got something a little different today. I made a gift for my buddy Jake, the ticket leprechaun. Jake and Amy had their baby, and I wanted to make this little frame for them, but it is a surprise, so don't tell them unless Jake finds this video, in which case, hey, Jake, surprise! Here we are with some Adobe Illustrator nonsense. I'm starting out with the 1962 Topps design because we're cutting this out of wood and the wood border looks cool. And 1962 was the year the movie The Sandlot took place and we know Jake loves The Sandlot. Jake also loves the Atlanta Braves, but the Braves were in Milwaukee in 62, so I wasn't really sure how to handle that. So we'll just pretend that after the Braves left, they named the Brewers after Jake's family. So that works, right? Kinda? Here's some exciting laser footage. We're using cherry plywood to match the 62 Tops card. Don't sue me, Tops. This was only a gift. Um, in Illustrator, I had to separate the layers for the engrave, which would be the first name and the team name. Then I made an outline for the last name and the paper border. I didn't want to cut that all the way through, though. And then a layer for the stuff I was cutting, the inside hole and the outside of the frame. Is this interesting at all? Probably not. The wood I used had some protective masking tape on it to keep the wood from burning, but it also works as a mask for some spray paint. So we'll paint the white bits real quick. And then we'll paint that page curl. And now for the fun part, we can take all the tape off. Awesome, that came out just like I wanted it to. I have a super fancy special moments memory collection frame from the dollar store and some wood glue from the wood glue store. And we'll clamp that up while the glue dries. That's long enough. I found a random photo of a random baby on Pinterest. So we'll throw that in there. And Frank Viola, look at that. Four sharp corners and well-centered. Here's our beauty shot. And fade to black. Congratulations, Jake and Amy. 